hey everybody welcome back to another kayla's curls video so today i just wanted to bring you a really cute hairstyle that i came up with i mean there's probably some people who have did this hairstyle but i wanted to do it on myself i wanted to do a wash and go with a bantu knots at the side so this is what my hair is looking like after i wash and conditioned it mind you i did do an ace tech clay mask on my hair prior to styling my hair so my hair was soft already and very moisturized i shampooed with the head and shoulders the dandruff one because i was experiencing some dandruff and i wanted to get rid of the flakes and nothing nothing better than head and shoulders i conditioned with the whole blends honey treasures conditioner and i moisturized my roots with the black castor oil and to style my bantu knots i will be using this dippity do girls with curls mousse and to style my wash and go i'm using this eco styler uh cannabis sativa line and yeah for the tools you want to have a wide tooth comb or a water comb either or is fine as you can see a water comb is much thicker and then of course you have your regular a wide tooth comb so you'll need that i also have here my edge brush um as you can see the comb got messed up and i have some claw clips and yeah this is the black cast oil i massaged in my scalp already prior to doing my hair and yeah so i'm just gonna start off by creating like a square box and as you can see i'm showing you guys where my edges are i'm doing the box or starting the box above my baby hairs just so that my baby hairs can lay a certain way when my hair is done being styled so i'm just creating a box where four bantu knots are going to sit and i want to make sure that the parting is perfect and right so as you can see i am just making sure to part properly and make the section look nice and neat for the bantu knots i just want the area to look nice and classy and you know neat and not messy so you could just see me i'm just perfecting making sure that it is the way i want it to be so yeah i'm just going to do that and then after i am done creating the box i'm going to section my hair out of the way and tie it down with a hair tie or a claw clip which is what you guys will see me doing right now so yeah once i'm done putting my hair away i'm going to begin styling my bantu knots i will be doing four of them i'm starting off by taking some black castor oil to rub it in my scalp um i am trying to get my hair longer so i am you know using different ways to grow my hair and black ca castor oil is a great way to grow your hair then to hold and style my hair, I will be using this Dippity Doo uh, Girls with Curls mousse. This is a curling mousse. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take a good amount and I'm going to rake that in my hair. This is going to give my Bantu knots a good hold and also for great shine and moisture and also some slip for styling. And then you guys just see me here, I'm just detangling my hair from my ends to my roots. And now I'm just going to section off um, the front and the back of the square just so that it's easy for me to install the bantu knots. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to section that half in half and make two sections where those bantu knots will be and i'm just perfecting the line the parting just to make sure it looks nice and neat i like to uh make sure it's perfect i'm a perfectionist so yeah so i'm going to be taking some of this eco styler gel and putting it on my finger and then rubbing it in the area of my scalp here and then i'm going to be taking my edge brush you can just see i'm just parting and sectioning because i noticed there was a piece of hair that was scraggling in the part and i didn't like how it looked so i'm just fixing that so to create the bantu knot all you're doing is basically twisting your hair until you create like a ball that wedges at your roots and then once you get that ball that 
at the edges of your roots you're just going to hold on to it while you take the rest of your hair and just twist until you create like a knot you know and that would be the bantu knot and you just want to keep doing that until your hair is tucked away underneath the bantu knot if you can see what i am doing here as you guys can see i want to take my time to show you guys and not rush through the video so you guys can understand how to do the bantu knots so i'm just um focusing on twisting the bantu knot around the knot there and just tie tying it as tight as i can until i get those ends tucked underneath my roots so i'm just going to do that and then um yeah i'm just going to keep showing you guys how i do the bantu knot so you guys can get an understanding of how to do it because it can be a little bit tricky the first time around but there you can see that's my first bantu knot which came out nice i'm starting off by putting my eco styler gel at the root of the parting just so that it could smooth in and then i'll be taking the edge brush and smoothing my hair into the between my fingers and then once I do that as you guys can see I am kind of like fixing my baby hairs a little bit into the bantu knot so that it's not uh messy so yeah I just create the bantu knot like I said I start off by making a little nub at the front at the top and then I hold that with my finger and then I wrap the rest of my hair around and tuck the hair underneath as you guys can see um, with practice, you know, you'll get it and it will come out nice and easy, just like how this one did. I was really loving how this looked. Like, it really looks neat. The Bantu knots on a wash and go it looks really neat, you know? Um, just because we're inside doesn't mean we have to, you know, stop taking care of our hair and stop styling our hair. You know, if this is, you know, crazy times for you to be stuck inside, you know, use this time to style your hair. Try something different and, you know, share with your friends and all that. And it's just fun doing your hair. So as you can see, I'm just fixing my um, edges, just making sure that they look nice for my placement. If you are going to style this, your, this style, uh, you could do your edges however you want. Even if you wanted your edges to be in the bantu knots, you can do that, but that would be uh, very tight. So I'm just doing the bantu knots and then, yeah. So now I'm just going to finish off these bantu knots and then I'm going to start my wash and go. So this is how the Bantu knots are looking after I did them. They look so good. I honestly was so happy and proud of this hairstyle that I did because it was so cute. So after I did the Bantu knot outs, now it is time to work on my wash and go. And I will be working from the bottom to the top so I'm starting in the back by separating my hair in half the front from the back this just helps so that you can get an even distribution of your products and it's easier on you when you do that because you can detangle every section and then style afterwards so I'm just going to separate my hair and now I'm going to be using my Eagle styler as a styler for my wash and go just like every other wash and go I do I start by raking in the product with my fingers you can detangle first or use water to do this part but my hair was already about like 90% dry so I really didn't need to put any more water than there was and yeah it was just fine the way my hair was already wet and dry whatever so yeah, I'm just going to rake in the product and after I did that, I just took my water comb and I detangled from my ends to my roots. Um, this is one of the really good reasons why I love using this water comb is because it helps me to detangle my hair a lot faster than a regular wide tooth comb or a Denman brush or a paddle brush because sometimes detangling my hair can be a hassle and... You know I like using the water comb because it has wider teeth and it's a little bit thicker so yeah it's not going to rip out your hair or anything like that so this is what my hair looks like after applying the eco styler gel I just keep on adding the eco styler gel 
just for my own preference as much as I think that I need as long as my hair gets coated and soaked and as wet as possible with the product I feel like that's how I know my hair is perfect for my wash and go so after I do that I'm going to do the same thing for the other sections all I'm doing is taking my product and I am <clears throat> applying that to my hair and just raking that in so yeah I'm just going to do that in the rest of my sections and I'll be back to show you guys what I do next So alrighty, my hair is now practically almost done. I'm just raking in that last bit of Eco Styler Gel into my hair, just like I did with the other sections. And the only thing different is that I will be scrunching this part because the pieces closer to my face are a bit damaged from straightening my hair um, before and it just never gets like really curly as much as the rest of my hair so scrunching it actually helps so this is what my hair looks like after I apply the eco styler gel it is looking so beautiful I loved how I looked with this hairstyle like the bantu knots just really give you a different look with your wash and go and these this style is just perfect for any day, any time, you know, whether you're in quarantine or not, this style is super cute. You have to try it yourself, even just to get a picture for Insta. So now I'm just going to allow my hair to dry. And then, yeah, I'm going to move on after I let my hair dry. My hair um, took a few hours to dry but that was fine you know so it wasn't too bad it took almost like six hours to dry as you can see my hair got a lot more scrunched up a little bit more up to my scalp um, the volume went up it looked super cute super nice and I just loved how my hair looked like the Bantu knots gave me like a different look it just gave me a whole different style like this would be a sick style to do for like a club a clubbing day or clubbing night with the girls or you know whatever so i'm just going to take my wide tooth comb and fluff of course that is what i do all the time when i do any type of hairstyle and i want good volume um without ruining my curls i just fluff and fluffing means that you're just taking the comb and pulling your hair up you're not combing through your hair you're just giving your style some volume so yeah i just use my hands as well um in my previous videos um i mentioned to you guys you know i feel like my fingers get closer to my roots rather than the um comb because i got a better feel but this is how my hair looks guys tell me what you guys think in the comments like i'm so in love with this hairstyle i'm definitely going to do it again and you know god forbid i hope that this quarantine is over i could have this hairstyle and do it again for a day out or something because this style is super cute try it out i hope you guys are staying home and staying safe i hope you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button lots more videos coming and don't forget to follow me on instagram thanks for watching and see you in the next one